If you didn't know, recently, Pokemon, the company, released that they were making a new game, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, this year, 2022. Now, with that game, of course, they released some images of the gameplay, but most importantly, they released images of the three new starters that are coming with the game. So today, what I'm going to do is throw my hat in the ring. It's not figurative anymore. <laughs> I'm literally throwing my hat in the in the figurative ring and I'm going to to put myself out there for you guys and I'm going to make what I think would be the best of the best for the new starters. So today I'm going to create the designs for the new evolutions. I hope that Pokemon sees this and they take into consideration my thoughts on what they should look like, what they should be like. And that's what we're doing today. Okay, so let's get into it right now. Every Pokemon game has evolutions, we know that. And the starters, as we all know, have three evolutions each. So we have to create some new design. Their names are Spurgatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxley. Based off of the names and what I've seen online, people are thinking that it's based off of Spain. So we got Spain, we have a cat, all right? It's a green cat. Spain cats images. These are all small and cringe. I'm looking for something that's green. Maybe something that smokes weed in his pog like this. Wild Spain cats. All right. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Cool. He's kind of got a beard going on. That's pretty pog. So maybe this is like where it progresses, right? Maybe it starts like this. It's a little baby cat, right? At first, it's a green little baby cat. But of course, at the end, it's got to have a beard. So, you know, I mean, it's like a natural progression of maturity. So, I mean, right away, of course, it's not going to have a beard. That's more of a mature thing. That's what it evolves into is it has a beard. All right. So what we want, we want maybe bingo. What we want to do with short beard Channing Tatum. First of all, naturally, we're going to want to cut out only Channing Tatum. Flawless. All right. We're off to a great start. So we have the face. We have the face. <laughs> now we need the body. We need the body. All right. Here's a cat. It's a cat. It's kind of a small cat. But bigger than a house cat, obviously. I think this is honestly just a, a, a good size. We'll go with this one right here. Smaller. Put it right, right there. Uh-huh. Just like that. He's a grass type. So, I mean, he has to be green. <laughs> and, of course, I mean, it would be weird if the face wasn't green, if everything else was green. So, bingo, bango, bongo. Now, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're not quite done yet we're getting close though we're getting very very close what's the name of this pokemon gonna be the first one's called sprigatito which kind of sounds italian to be honest it could also sound spanish i guess if you're cringe uh sprigatito ah spaghetti spaghetti um okay okay so here's what i'm thinking here's what i'm thinking right so everybody knows um the sizes in starbucks Fort tall grande venti Trente, trenta, bingo, bango, bongo, baby. So obviously, if Ito is small, and then we want to take the middle because it's going to number two, so we want grande. We don't really want grande. What does venti mean, huh? Well, oh, venti just means twenty. <laughs> but it's number two, so that makes sense. Duh. I'm such. Uh, I'm so silly. Duh. So we want venti, and it's like, uh, it's like a fairy well it's like it's a cat but maybe it's like a, a wild cat so like what's what's the name of a cat felis sylvestris sylvester sylventi sylventi bingo bango bongo lawless all right and then what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna want to open paint go to it sylventi and we need to add the final touches to sylventi all right, <laughs> and naturally, all cats have whiskers. So we want to add whisker, whisker, whisker. Let's really accent the ears here. Uh huh. There we go. There, like that. And let's make it really obvious that there's just, you know, a goatee going on here, huh? That's good. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, I'm thinking one more touch. Mm. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, one more touch would make this perfect. Absolutely flawless. You want to make sure that you know it's a grass type, all right? This is important. <laughs> we have Sylventi right here. Okay, see? <laughs> Pokemon don't get much better than this, all right? So this is stage two. So now, just so you have a... <laughs> 
<laughs> we got Sprigatito, and then we have Silvanti. <laughs> And as we know, there has to be one more. So um, let's 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 keep progressing. All right. All right. So, as we said, it's a progression thing. So he's got to have a beard at some point, right? He's got to get better. He's got to get bigger, stronger. It's a cat, though we know that. But it has to have a beard. But as we all know, animals on four legs in Pokemon can't really work, right? They can't do that. That's gross and cringe and dumb. Yes, bingo. Just like that. This is good. <laughs> Obviously, the face shouldn't, shouldn't change too much. Maybe we can maybe even make this even better. If I know that might be might sound crazy, but we might be able to make this even better. Naturally, we want to make it green. However, there are other things that we want to do as well. For example, he needs to be old. And how do you make something old if not by graying out their hair, right? Naturally, that makes sense. And obviously we had the weed plant before, but what we're gonna wanna do now, because he's evolved, that weed plant ha now has a use, all right? If you get, if you catch my meaning, that weed plant is no longer just a sticker on his body, all right? This, this is something that Pokemon likes to do, actually. So what I'm doing is definitely canon. Just like, just like, again, for reference. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we're not done here because why would we be so what we want is a shirtless man and then we need a beard all right all right all right now he's hot and cool save that and what's the name what's the name <sighs> Silventi. uh he is a chad or a chan in tatum he is train trenty that's the next size up in Poco in in starbucks so, huh? Treatum? Treatum? Tree? Tatum? Anyone? Huh? How's that for an evolutionary line, huh? 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 We have Sprigatito, we have Sylventi, and we have Tree Tum. Honestly, it's really good. It's really, really good. I, I just feel like I hit all the marks. I'm really proud of this design. I'm really, really proud of this design. Let's move on to the next one. I don't want to lose it, so we're going We're going straight to the next one. It's a little alligator. His name is Fue Coco, which is cool. I love that movie. And he's a little alligator. He's a little fire alligator. So we're going to do, we're going to grab a, a caiman alligator. And then what we want is we want a fire effect. Bingo. Perfect. Just like the last one was green, this one's red, and that's important to us. Bingo. And then, and then here comes the important part, so make sure that you're paying attention, nice and easy-like. And then, because it's very important, because it's a fire type, and this is a classic of all fire types, if you did not know, is they have to breathe fire. There we go. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely flawless. Now he is a fire-breathing lizard, like he was always meant to be. That's stage two done and we're gonna call him what's what's a good name fue coco was the original name fue meaning fuego which means fire in spanish i'm a genius i know i i don't like to brag but i'm i'm kind of smart all right coco is also a name used for cocoa beans which is also spelt as cacao fue alligator <laughs> That's stage two. Bingo, bango, bongo, baby. All right, let's go straight to stage three. We want to make it a bigger alligator. All right, that's pretty much all that we're doing. Um, this one is going to stay on the ground because he's starting on two feet. So naturally, he's going to go to four legs. That's how things work. That's how it always works. Now, one thing that I did find out, I, look, I saw a message or I saw someone post this. A male alligator is called a bull. Someone mentioned because of that, the um, a matador you know, bull kind of um, alligator hybrid. And they thought it would be really cool, really interesting. And I think it would be really cool to bring that to life. So that's exactly what I want to do. I want to get a picture, a nice, nice picture of a bull. Fire effect. Yes, okay, okay, this is good. This is good for us. What we want to do, we want to add the flames because obviously it's fire type. They need flames, that's just how that works. So we want to take that fire. We want to add it to our bull as naturally as possible. Boom. <laughs> Now this bull's ready for battle, if you know what I mean. This bull is ready to go to war. 
Okay, add an image here because, you know, he does need some red, right? Otherwise, it would be unnatural and weird because he looks so natural and cool right now. Bingo, just like that. Love that for him. This is going to be the important part because, like I said, it would be really strange if it wasn't, you know, if he didn't feel natural. It didn't feel like a natural progression. And right now, it doesn't really feel like that, right? He's an alligator before, as you can see, and now it's a, it's a, it's a cow? What? That doesn't make any sense. He needs to still be an alligator. So how do I do that, you ask? Well, just look and see, all right? Boom, there. And now, as you can see, it looks like a totally natural progression. Mm-hmm, yes, there it is. Mm-hmm, there, there, mm-hmm, <laughs> yep, yep. It's not terrifying at all. Unless, of course, you look too closely to the mouth of the alligator and you see that there is actually blood coming out of it because it does, in fact, have the head of an animal inside of his mouth. And his name, of course, will be Fue Alligator, was a great name. Fue Coco, Fue Alligator, Fue Death Incarnate is a natural name for that. Of course it is. Let's make the comparison again like we did before. The one in the middle is Fue Coco. Here on the left of Fue Coco is, of course, Fue Alligator, his second evolution. A natural turn of events. You know, he's going to four legs. He can breathe fire now. That's Pog. That's cool. And naturally, his third evolution is um try not to look too closely into his eyes because he, he will eat you um but he's not he's not really <sighs> he's not trying to scare you it's just his demeanor oh god <gasps> no but um it's it's, it's fue uh death incarnate is his name uh-huh so um the natural progression of course is uh fue coco in the middle Fue Alligator on the left, and then Fue Death Incarnate. Oh, I forgot to add one thing. Uh, a shoulder, a shoulder pad there. 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 Yeah. <laughs> All right. Last but not least. Now we've officially done the final evolutions for Sprigatito on the left. We've done Fue Coco in the middle. The last one, Quaxley. Now he's a cute little guy. We love him so much. You know, he's, he's really nice. He's really cute. So we really want to do him justice. Um, so he's a duck. So uh, to start off, here's what I am thinking. All right. All right. And then that's uh, and this is the direction I think Quaxley uh, will go. Um, I, I named the, um, of course, Quaxley on the right is the first uh, form, the first evolution. The Quaxley in the middle, as you can see, he's with his Pokemon trainer right there. Yeah. <laughs> He's just having a good old time. Looks like he has a friend there too, which is great. I call him Quack D. Or I call him Quack D. Um, just uh, I, no, D, you know, as in like d d die, which there are two of. Uh huh. And the last one I call. <clears throat> Mario Batali which is slathered in an orange marmalade, orange juice, charcoal grill for rotisserie. In direct medium heat, um, place drip pan for under the center of the spit. In a small saucepan, combine the marmalade, the orange juice, the balsamic vinegar, garlic and rosemary, and bring to a boil. Reduce the heat to a medium low and gently simmer for five minutes. Remove the heat and let cool. Pour one fourth cup of sauce into the small bowl to use for basting the duck and pour the rest into a small serving bowl for passing at the table. <laughs> uh, that's just that's just the direction that I see. That's just the direction I see uh, him going in. I, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you uh, also understand my passion for this craft. I'd really love to see some of my designs in the game, but you know, some of my designs are a bit more forward thinking. They're a bit ahead of their time, I would say. So I'm, I'm not gonna ask too much, but I would love to see them in the game, and I hope that I do see something of similar, something of the sorts. Uh, thank you for watching, though. I appreciate your time. Uh, goodbye. And now you've got yourself something funky. Oh.